Hi guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I bring to you my boy beat or um, how to look uh, put together without makeup, something along the lines. Now there are different variations of the boy beat. I actually have a minimal makeup look that I did already. I'll link that um, above. Is that eye that you would see. You can click that to see my minimal makeup look. But this is what I do when I just do not want to wear any makeup, which is pretty much often these days. I like to focus a lot on my skin. So I'm, I am always sure that I cleansed my skin and really moisturize my skin. Make sure I'm using my eye cream, my moisturizer, and I'm going over that with an oil because I'm not going with any makeup today. So I like focusing on the skin because I want my skin to look glowy. I want my skin to look healthy. There's an extra step I also do all the time. When I wash my face, I like going in with this um, eyebrow shaper and shave all the peach fuzz and all the little hairs on my face. My face looks smoother and more alive and I like doing that a lot. I probably do it every two to three weeks. If you want to see how I do it, leave a comment down, down below so I can show you how I shave my face. So that was already done and my face is washed and moisturized. Okay, so now that I have that going on, I am really, really doing the bare minimum. And like I say, I like focusing on my skin. So what I do first is I like going in with a smoothing primer. And today I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is very comparable to the Tarte um, Silk Canvas one. And I'm just going to apply this in the areas where um, I have larger pores and, you know, want to smooth out those areas. I'm just taking the excess and get underneath my eyes and just share it out to the outer. So now that I have that on, I am going now. I want my face to look healthy, like I said, so I'm going to add something to give me a little glow. And I'm reaching for my show-up cream and I'm going to take that and apply it to the highest points of my cheek, like here. Some on my chin. And just a little on the bridge of my nose over my lip and I'm gonna get the hair out of the way. This is such a great product, the MAC Strobe Cream. It really makes your skin look so luminous but without looking greasy or oily or anything like that. So it's one of my favorite products to use. I think I made it in my um, favorite products of 2018 or I forgot to mention it, I don't know, but it's one of my favorite primers to use for glow. You see my skin is just um, glowing and I do have darkness, uh, discoloration, and hyperpigmentation on my skin, but I am totally comfortable with it, so it does not bother me. But if you're someone, it bothers that you have discoloration and stuff like that, and you want to do as minimal makeup as possible, you can use some concealer and spot correct those areas so that you don't see the darkness. But mine is fine. I actually want it to show because it's my skin. And for my brows, I'm taking a brow gel of a color. I'm using the L'Oreal one, and I'm brushing my brow hairs upwards. Then I'm bringing it downwards. I'm basically just coating my lashes with that. And then I'm going to bring that product in the opposite direction of my brows. And then go back up with it. This is just going to make my brows look fuller, but I still want to maintain that sort of bushy look. I don't want my brows to be so neat and in place. Do you see the difference with this one and this one? This is what it does for my brows. Now, if you are someone who has no brow hairs at all, you do you. You can actually go in and fill in your brows. I do have friends who does not wear makeup, but their brows are always, always filled in and done because your brows really does shape your face. So you can go ahead and fill your brows in if you, if you, if you see fit. I'm just going to take a powder foundation, the NYX Hydro Touch, Hydro Touch Powder Foundation. And on a brush, I'm dipping my brush in it and I'm just going to gently tap it over my face just to bring a little bit of um, evenness. I still want to maintain that glow underneath so this is just going to make everything look a little more even. And I'm just pressing it into my skin. And that's basically it. So the last thing I'm going to do is add a lip gloss. 
and on days like these i like using a lip gloss that's colored like this something that is sheer but still enough pigment so that my lips look a little bit pink and juicy more flesh like um this one is from mac it's called girl up tongue i have a, i have um maybe two or so of this and i also like using one of my favorite gloss of all time is the nyx um butter gloss in angel food cake that one is somewhere in my bag so but most times i go in with this and i'm just gonna coat my lips with that And that's it i actually i don't even focus on my lashes i don't wear mascara or anything i actually like the look of just this just my skin nothing too crazy on my skin there are different variations of this boy because it all comes down to what it is you want on that day when you choose to wear minimal makeup some people might go as far as to use just a foundation to even out their skin and do a couple more extra steps but for me this is what it's going to be is either i'm doing this i'm doing my minimal look or i'm full Beat. my last thing that i do whenever i'm like this i always like adding something to my straighten my wig <laughs> i always like adding something to my head like a hat a cap or something a headband or something in the summertime i may quicker go for sunglasses and probably try a very bright lip i like doing making everything else sort of balanced like i always say balance is key so when i know i'm not wearing much makeup my outfit will be put together and i like putting something over my head that it doesn't draw too much attention to me not having makeup on my face. So for today, we're doing a cap. Let's fix this wig. And that's it. That's my boy beat. Now, believe it or not, I did have another video recorded for today and i'm having some issues with it it's all edited and stuff like that but i'm having some issues with it so it probably will come at a later date so i had to just think of something real quick to do because i don't want to miss my uploads so this is my this is how i look put together with no makeup at all or little to no makeup at all thank you so much for watching if you're new here hi my name is rachel i upload every wednesday and sunday um everything my links and everything will always be in my description box so be sure to check that out Please subscribe and always hit the bell so that you won't miss my upload. Like, comment, and share. It really helps. Help me to reach the millions that I dream to reach here on YouTube. And let's continue to change the world one face at a time. So I hope you enjoy <laughs> this uh, mini, mini video, mini tutorial. And I'll see you in my next video on Sunday. Bye.